Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel. Uh, I want to talk about domain and range of parent functions. So you may remember from our exploration and our work with quadratics that the domain was always all real numbers. Um, so that's going to make this question pretty easy. I'm going to warn you, not all parent functions is that the case. So I want to remind you what domain actually means. Domain is what are the possible inputs? What are the numbers that you can actually plug in for x that are defined? Um, so with a quadratic, it makes sense that it's all real numbers because if you pick any x value, any real number, can you plug it into that and square it? Well, of course, there's no reason you can't square. It might be a really big number, but there's no reason you can't square any number. Um, so there are going to be functions coming later where the answer to that question may be limited. So sometimes the question is, are there any x values that don't work uh, or that you can't plug in for x in this expression? Um, so just be on the lookout for that. Remember the range are the possible outputs or the possible y values. Um, and notice in this table, even if I kept going, if I had, you know, negative, whoops, sorry about that, if I had negative why is that happening? Come on, let me write negative three for x, we might have nine, and negative four for x, we might have 16. So I could put any x I want in there. And notice that in this direction, those y values just go up, up, up. But if I went in this direction, the y values go up, 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 right? There is no x value in the world you can plug in that will get me a negative number. Easier to see that looking at the graph. Right, because on the graph you can see that the lowest this that the y values get is here at zero, and then they go up forever. And so the range, the possible y values, the possible outputs, are all the real numbers from zero to infinity. Then remember the brackets on the interval notation are really important here. Is zero included in the range? Can you actually get zero for a y value? And the answer to that, of course, is yes because there it is, the vertex is actually at zero. So that's why we need a square bracket on the uh, zero to show that zero is included in that interval. Um, so again, this may look a little different for some of the other functions, but that's the thought process. Hope that's helpful.